A dramatic escalation in the Capitol riot investigation. The House Select Committee has issued subpoenas for House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, four other GOP members of Congress who rejected requests to testify voluntarily. Chief Washington correspondent John Carl has the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The committee believes that these Republicans are fact witnesses to what Donald Trump was doing around January 6th and therefore need to testify. But George, this is a highly con uh, confrontational and virtually unprecedented move issuing subpoenas for fellow members of Congress, including the man believed by many to be the likely next Speaker of the House. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has refused to cooperate with the January 6th committee for months. Now the committee is turning up the pressure, issuing subpoenas for McCarthy and four other House Republicans. McCarthy spoke to Trump on January 6th while the former president's supporters were rampaging through the Capitol. Shortly after that phone call, McCarthy told ABC News that he had pleaded with Trump to give a national address, calling on his supporters to stand down. I begged him to go talk to the nation. Four days later, McCarthy was caught on tape telling fellow Republican leaders that Trump bears responsibility for the attack. I've had it with this guy. Uh, what he did is unacceptable. Um, nobody can defend that and nobody should defend it. It's been clear from the start of the investigation that McCarthy would be a key witness. This is what Liz Cheney, now the top Republican on the committee, said nearly one year ago. Should Kevin McCarthy be willing to speak, testify before that commission? After all, he is one of the few people that we know of that was actually talking to Donald Trump while the attack was taking place. He absolutely should, and, and I wouldn't be surprised uh, if he were subpoenaed. I think that he very clearly and said publicly that he's got information about uh, the president's uh, state of mind that day. None of these five Republicans have indicated that they will comply with the subpoena. When asked about it yesterday, McCarthy didn't directly answer, uh, but he criticized the committee for conducting what he called an illegitimate investigation and using it to go after uh, the committee's political opponents. George. Meantime, John, former President Trump also facing a new investigation. Uh, yes, this is about uh, the classified information that he brought with him to Mar-a-Lago. As you remember, uh, the president brought several boxes of White House records with him when he left the White House last year. Uh, and it turned out that some of the information in those boxes is classified. There is an investigation into this. A subpoena has been issued to the National Archives. Uh, they've asked, to, the investigators have asked to talk to some of the White House staffers involved in packing up those boxes. Uh, but George, it's very unlikely that the president, uh, the former president, would face criminal charges over this. As you know, presidents have wide latitude to declassify. Right, he can just declassify all of it if he wanted to. You yeah. can say that. Yeah, okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.